Doe Jones, what's up, Doe? Hey, how you doing? I found out your real name, Dominique. Dominique. Oh, Dominique. Oh, Dominique. Yeah. Not Dominique, but Dominique. Okay. You know what? I oh goodness. I um I don't even correct anybody anymore, but I have this conversation a lot because everybody asks me, oh my goodness. <laughs> everybody <laughs> asks me where my nickname came from, why people call me Doe. Okay. And it's because my full name is Dominique. Oh, but, um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Only family calls me that now. Everybody calls me Doe pretty much. Oh, wow. Yeah. I like it. Either way, it works for me. <laughs> Thank you. I, I like both of my names too. Yeah. It's always so good to talk to you. I get a chance to see you when you're in Chicago uh, for the Johnny and Molly tour. And like oh. you were amazing. Like you were so angelic. Like you won Thank the crowd you. over. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was fun. It was fun. That was, um, yeah, we had a lot of fun on that tour. Yeah. And it was a special moment. I mean, obviously, um, you know, Jonathan McReynolds, that's his hometown. Chicago is his hometown. Um, but for you to be in Chicago with him in that moment made it even extra special. Because, you know, he was trying to show off, you know, it was his city. You was in his city. <laughs> <laughs> it was all love for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I loved it. Um, Chicago was fun and New York was fun for me. Okay, cool. Chicago yeah. has to be number one though, though. <laughs> okay, well then I, I won't say nothing then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't know if folks know the connection between you and Jonathan, but you're signed to his label, Life Room. And uh, we, you were the first to be signed to his label, correct? I'm the first. You're the first. <laughs> and uh, tell me this, why do you think this connection was made? Why do you think Jonathan chose you to be the first? So, Sure. Um, you know, Jonathan and I have been friends for a very long time. Um, I remember before I was signed, years before, um, we were having a conversation. I was just like, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. You know, it's happened my little pity party. It's very discouraged. And he was like, just wait till I, you know, wait till I start my label. And I was like, I'm not going to sit around and wait for you to start your label. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, it's kind of funny because when I was ready to start having conversations with labels, I was talking to three labels that were um, a good size. Um, and RCA Inspiration was one of those with Jonathan's label. And um, and I just felt like that was the home for me. Uh, it was the best uh, business decision that I could make. Um, and, you know, I think it's cool that, you know, my friend happens to be the exec of, of the other label that's a part of that partnership. And um, Jonathan believes in me as an artist and he continues to show that on his page. He's, he's very good at taking the artist hat off and becoming an ex executive. And, uh, and that's more than I could ask for. So I'm very thankful for uh, Jonathan. Yeah. Well, it's definitely a sweet connection. And I know that you're not this, you know, being an artist is, is not strange to you because we, we, we enjoyed you with your family forever Jones. And yeah, yeah. Uh, when you sang the song, he wants it all, you know, folks are like, Oh my God. So that's no. And forever Jones, like, you know, they're, they're getting the <laughs> connection here. And so um, what was that journey like for you, you know, for, from being a part of, you know, a singing family uh, to now your solo career? Um, I think, you know, the journey of leaving was uh, maybe a little bit difficult. There were a few other things that I was involved in before I really stepped out to become a solo artist and kind of do what was in my heart. Um, but once I got rid of the fear of messing up, so I think that may be one of the things that holds people back a lot is this fear of failure. And I don't know if I step out, if I'm going to ruin my whole life. Honestly, I feel I've learned the only way to ruin your whole life is to stay seated after you've made a mistake and not get up and keep walking. And um, so, I mean, it was just a, there was a moment in time around 2018 where I just stepped out, jumped off, you know, the cliff and realized that God gave me wings. And um, just, it was literally just all around the same time, you know, I got, a, I did a duet with Travis because I met his MD on a tour and then Israel Houghton called me and was like, I want you to be on my album. I saw your version of my song on YouTube and I really love it. And then, um, you know, just little things here and there of God doing it. Maverick, you know, I'd been kind of texting them for a couple of years and then it just worked out that 
it just was, you could just tell it was the sovereign timing of God. Yeah. It wasn't one person on earth acting on my behalf. It was God acting on my behalf through different people. And um, so I'm very thankful for that. Wow. Okay, evangelist, prophetess. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, when I listen to your music, it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Jonathan's style of music, it being life music. And I know uh, he came up in church, Church of God in Christ, you came up in church. Uh, so to kind of, I, I, I would say that you're, you're, you're deviating from church or church music, or whatever you want, how you want to spin it. But it's a different flow, a different vibe, uh, a take on um, how the music, the sound is delivered. Was there any hesitancy as it relates to that, your style and how God had given you uh, and your ability to produce with your guitar and that sort of thing? You know, with coming up in church, was there a little hesitancy of stepping out in your own style of, of doing praise and worship? Um, this is all that I can do, you know, and so it's what I bring to the table along with what God is doing in my life. And um, I, I'm not wired to, I have my, my own idiosyncrasy. So I'm not saying that I'm, I'm a, you know, oh, I'm good. I'm perfect. But one of the things that I lose energy trying to do is being someone else or sounding like someone else. I tend to give up really quick. Cause I just like, it, it wears you out, you know, it wears me out uh, to put on for people. And, uh, and Jonathan, sign me and RCA, uh, I sign me because of my sound. Okay. Um, I think they were very keen on making sure that I worked for the songs that I got instead of just giving them, you know, cause I can write, I love writing songs. So okay. I was like, oh yeah, I got it. I got it. Just sending them all the pretty stuff. And they're like, yeah, that's right. really pretty. But it sounds like, we, you know, we want something that is genuine to you yeah. and um, that doesn't sound like everything that's out there um, that really hits, you know? And um, so I kept having to go back to the drawing board and I had this breaking point moment um, that was really good for me um, because number one, it showed me that just because you're good at something doesn't mean you don't have to work for it or grow in it. Um, and number two, it showed me that there was more. I didn't realize that there was more of the truth that I needed to tell. Uh, that there was more that I was learning that I needed to put in the song. And Jonathan, I think the way that our music connects, there are times where we do musically kind of sound alike, uh, but we're, we're also very different in our expression musically as well. But the, the one of the things that we do very well, I think that's kind of the same is telling the truth through music. And he is a great home for that, you know, as, a, as an artist. So I, I always felt safe to tell the truth. He he promised me that he would fight for my music, okay. and he's done that. Wow, that's beautiful, and he's doing it. Like he held yeah. true to his promise, and right? He's doing it. He held true to that's his promise. Right. Yeah, that's I right. Yeah, that's right. And so um, we love the song "Brighter," and uh, I don't know. You, did you bring your? You have your guitar around a little bit? Like, is it around? Yeah, I didn't really come prepared, but uh, <laughs> you got to stay ready. No, you got to stay ready. I don't even know if this thing is like tune tuned but um how many, how many guitars do you have well i just got two new fender guitars so now i have uh four okay so which is not a lot actually if you um knew how many other artists have really? wow. <laughs> oh no okay. yeah you start playing the guitar at what age would you say or is that something you picked up later i probably started around like 13. okay yeah. Okay. So, you want to yeah. do something a little fancy for us? I mean, it doesn't have to be sure. brighter. Like you know, just just help brighten our brighten our day, though. Yeah. Anything that the yeah. Lord gives you. <laughs> I'm actually gonna tune real quick so that it sounds like the Lord gave it to me too. <laughs> but no judgment. This is a no judgment zone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, making I'm making it work so hard. 
Sorry. It's okay. You're actually the only one I'm saying for today. So oh, I'm special. Yeah. I don't, yeah. <clears throat> They're not really that warmed up, right? <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I like to use my brain for you. Actually, what song do you want to hear? I want to hear, I want you to play whatever is comfortable for you right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like to use my brain for you. Use it to write songs for you. You're getting all of the best to me. Cause I'm giving all of the best to me. Oh, love, my heart's only built for two. You won't wear me out cause I'm the perfect shoe. You're getting all of the best to me. I'm giving all of my best. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need words. And I don't need songs, but I choose to use them. My light shines brighter when it shines for you. Oh, I ain't blowing smoke. No, this ain't how to air. It's how I choose to love you. My light shines brighter. All right. Oh, that's good. I feel like I just need to sit on my couch. <laughs> Have me, uh, you know, a little, uh, I don't want to say why the saints might, you know, they might get mad at me if I say why, you know. That's this, all right with me. Spark, <laughs> some sparkling cider, okay? <laughs> okay. We can take communion together. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was beautiful. And then you have your new single out uh, called When I Pray. You want to do just a touch of that? I do, I sure. <laughs> Ooh. Carrying all of the world on my shoulders and it's gotten too heavy for me. And y'all know I ain't no Hercules Cause life moves on Stuff breaks down And people fall off I gotta find a way to get over Gotta find a way to get through And break through Hear you Struggles they last As time pass It's been one thing After the other And oh I don't know I know the right way No I don't know I know what to say Say, all I know is something happens when I pray. I know I can get through when I pray. I know I can reach you when I call your name. You're never too busy for me. You're never too busy for me when I pray. That was beautiful. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> You gave Chicago our own private little concert. <laughs> yes, Chicago. I love y'all. Hi, town. We love you. We want you to come back and do something special for our city. And congratulations on the, the, the release of your brand new project, Clarity. And uh, you're just a special young lady. I, I, I like that, uh, you know, you decided to stick with doing you, doing your, doing your way. And Thank how you. God gave it to you, that's what makes it unique and that's what makes it special. So what are your aspirations? What, what do you see yourself maybe 10, 15 years from now, though? I know that's maybe is asking you a lot, but what do you see yourself? What's your vision? Um, yes, I'm actually not that person that 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 plans that far in the future. Um, but I have things that I would like to be doing. I'd love to be a mother by then, you know, that's not super musical and career woman of me to say, but okay. I would love that. Yeah. And um, I think too, I, I want to continue to create music. I want to be that family woman who has, who's able to travel at times with her family. I think it can be done. And I, I know that living my life as, to the fullest that I can will create even more opportunities to write songs from a place of transformation and learning. And I honestly, I hear people say your heart expands when you become a mom. Okay. I can't wait to see what that does for me in songwriting. You wow. know, it's so funny. I'm like, I can't wait to be a mom. And I, I'm not talking, I'm not even talking about, you know, falling in love and that's going to be beautiful too. But okay. we do that a lot in life, fall in love, get your heart broken. Okay. But, but, you know, that, that, that part's going to be awesome. And then, you know, I want to be successful okay. with this. I do. I want people to know about my music. I feel like people are afraid to say that in the Christian industry because yeah. people are like, Oh, you trying to be famous. No, I think by the metrics that we use to measure success in our industry, I want to be successful. I want to do well. This is my job. This is my career of choice. And I want it to reach people. And I want them to respond well to my music. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I, and that's how I feel in the healthiest way possible. You know, I want to work hard and do well. Yeah. Who knows? You may be singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Who never, who knows? Oh my knows? God. That girl might open up for you, girl. It might open up. <laughs> I receive it. Thank you for you. But uh, thank you so much, Doe, for joining me here. And congratulations again on your new project, Clarity. Thank you, Sonia. Life Room, RCA, inspiration. Tell Jonathan we missed him. He should have been here, but all is well. You handle it, girl. You know <laughs> Thank you so much, Joe. I, I love it. Appreciate you. I look forward to seeing you back here in Chicago. All right. Thanks.